Well, good morning. It's Tuesday in the life of Jesus during Holy Week. Jesus and his disciples have been back in Bethany for the night, and they're heading into Jerusalem on this Tuesday morning in order for Jesus to, uh, to teach and to prepare for what's coming. It's Tuesday, but Sunday's coming, and Jesus knows that. The disciples and the people in Jerusalem do not. On their way from Bethany, uh, if, if you in Matthew 21 through 24 is what we're covering this morning, uh, on their way to, from Bethany to Jerusalem, they pass that fig tree that Jesus had cursed just the day before. When they pass this fig tree that Jesus had cursed, what they find is the, tr the fig tree is completely withered. And Jesus takes that opportunity to teach them about the power of prayer and even greater things that they'll do uh, with the power of prayer in the future. They continue on into Jerusalem where Jesus goes to the temple and he begins to, to teach in the temple. And before he gets started good, the, the elders of the, of the church and uh, the Pharisees, they begin to ask him some questions about where he gets his authority and where he gets his power from. And Jesus teaches with many, many parables, which confounds and confuses the scribes and the, the elders, but to those, but to the, to the simple people, they under, to those with the spirit, they understand and discern what Jesus is teaching. And so Jesus begins to ask the elders and the Pharisees some questions of which they cannot even begin to answer realistically. It confounds them, and, and once again, it, it angers them. And so he, he turns the table on them in, in answer, asking them questions uh, that they can't answer. And then he declares those famous eight um, commands that we see in Matthew 21 through 24, where it's woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. Woe to you, hypocrites. You vipers, he calls them. You serpents. Uh, and he tells the people and his disciples in his teaching, you do what they say, you do what they teach, but just don't do what they do because everything they do is, is hypocritical. So follow the truth of Scripture, but don't follow the lie of their lives. And then he's going to close out his teaching in Jerusalem on this Tuesday by giving some very clear prophetic teaching about his return. No one understands at the moment how soon everything he is teaching prophetically will come true but it will begin in just a matter of days. And if you'll hold on, we'll see that take place as we look at each day in the life of Jesus for Holy Week. I hope you'll go back and, and you'll read uh, Matthew 21 through 24 and you'll see deeper things about this teaching and you'll hang with us as we uh, come back here again tomorrow and teach about Wednesday in the life of the Lord. Well, Jesus loves you. And I love you, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.